everyone, welcome to our homeschool table. My name is Gerilyn. I'm a mom of three kids, ages nine, three, and almost one. And today I am going to be sharing about what is in our morning basket for this summer. This is the summer of 2024, and we have just finished school last week, which was the end of May. And now starting today, the beginning of June, um, we are doing a lot lighter of a school schedule. So I just wanted to come on here and share what we are going to be doing for Bible time and a little bit of um, extra practice for the summer. So first, we have been working on the Old Testament Faithopedia since the beginning of the school year. And the Old Testament Faithopedia has 36 weeks and five different days for each week. We do not schedule this um, we just do the next page on the next day. And we also do not do this every single day during the school year. So bec because of that, we're only about halfway through. So we are just finishing up Ecclesiastes and then we will be starting um, the next book, Song of Solomon. So we will just continue on with this throughout the summer. And if we wind up with any left after summer, which I expect we probably will. There are more than 18 weeks left, so um, we will just continue on with that through uh, the summer and the next year. Um, my son, is he's three, and he enjoys short little Bible stories, and I saw on my bookshelf that I have this little book called Blessings Every Day, and it just has um, short little devotionals for each day of the year. And so at the top, it shows the date. So for instance, today, June 3rd, we read this page here. It has a little scripture at the top and a little bit of a story. And then um, just kind of a little takeaway message at the bottom. And so these were um, just little short, sweet stories for him to enjoy. So we'll be reading those a couple days a week. Um, also, kind of Bible related, we are going to be reading this book, which is from the Christian Heroes Then and Now series. This is the one on Adoniram Judson, and it's uh, Bound for Burma is the subtitle. But um, this book would have been included in History Bible Literature Level D, but since we were doing the Bookshark version this year, Borrowing from a Friend, which I talked all about in my curriculum hits and misses video last week. If you didn't um, already see that one, go ahead and watch that um, next. But since we did the Bookshark version, it doesn't come with all of the Bible related uh, books and um, topics. So I wanted to go ahead and add this on this summer so that we could um, still enjoy this story. So that takes care of Bible time. Then we do Health, Safety, and Manners. Um, this is a book from Abeka. And uh, at the back of this book, it has some really nice little um, stories about different manners, like obedience, helpfulness, respect, uh, kindness, things like that. So we do that kind of during our Bible time. And then a little bit later, we get to the more health part of the book. And so I just have a little schedule here that I keep in the book. And we just do a couple pages every day. We've already done um, weeks one through four already in May. And now we are going to be working on weeks five through 10. So. Uh, that is something that we'll be working on during our morning time. Along with that, we are still working on laying down the rails, and this curriculum comes with lots and lots of different habits, and they recommend that you work on a habit for about six to eight weeks before moving on to another one. We just started using this book in the spring, so we are only on our second habit right now, which is the habit of courtesy. And so we um, are just going to continue doing this probably two days a week uh, this summer. 
Next, for just something fun, we are going to be doing some Mad Libs. This is one that we've been working on for quite a few years, actually. Unicorns, Mermaids, and Mad, Mad Libs. And so we will just do one of these, maybe once per week. Um, but my daughter really enjoys these. She thinks they're hilarious. And so we will um, work on a Mad, a mad Lib from time to time, if I can say that word. Um, <clears throat> and then the last thing in my basket here is the Landmark History of the American People, and this is volume one, and this has gone along with our history program this, uh, this last school year. And we are not quite finished with volume one. We will be starting chapter 18 this week, and there are 22 chapters total in this book. So once we finish those in the next couple of weeks, hopefully by the end of June, um, we will be finished up with our history for the year. A couple things that aren't in the basket, but that we will do at morning time are some read-alouds, but the two read-alouds that we have left, I am doing on an audiobook. So we are almost finished with Carry On Mr. Bowditch, and then we will be moving on to Johnny Tremaine. And so those aren't physically in my basket, but we listen to those during our morning time as well. And then last but not least, we are going to be working on these multiplication flashcards. There are a ton of them. It goes from zero to 12, and there is a fact for every number. So zero times one, zero times two, zero times three, zero times four, and on and on and on until you get to the 12s. So um, I'll probably just make like little packets of these to work on a couple days a week. Besides our morning basket, in the summertime, um, the only other thing really that my daughter does for school is that she works on a little bit of math. I have some math, uh, Kumon math review books that are um, reviewing multiplication and division. So she'll work on a couple of pages of that per week. And then um, we will do a little bit of our math curriculum from this last year which is Matthew C. Delta, which is the division book. And so we just have a couple more lessons to finish up this summer for that. And so she'll work on that a couple of days a week as well. And then, um, and then she has a couple of assigned books. Uh, if you would like to hear about our summer homeschool plans fully, um, I have a video that I can link down below to see all about what we're doing this summer and kind of how I planned it out so that you can get a better idea of that. If you have any questions or comments about any of the things in our morning basket that you would like to let us know or you have questions about, just leave those down in the comments and I would be happy to chat about them uh, down there. Um, this week we are just doing morning basket. We are not doing any math or any assigned reading, anything like that. This is kind of our first week uh, of summer and I just wanted to keep it really light and kind of open to just having a little bit of fun. Today and tomorrow, unfortunately, are rainy and uh, windy here in Oregon. That is not uncommon at the beginning of June. Um, my daughter's birthday is next week, and so uh, we will be enjoying her birthday and her dance recital coming up. So we have lots of fun things happening in the next couple weeks. I will go ahead and pop back on here towards the end of June and let you know how everything is going and kind of an update on um, not only my my goals for this summer, but also uh, just kind of how school is going. So thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.